Hi Nurse V, Mrs Starkey here. So I'm here to read you our new story text. Mm. Who can remember what it is our new story about? That's right, it's about a giant. And who can remember what our new story is called? That's right, it's the smartest giant in town. And look, he's so tall, all you can see is his feet and a little bit of his legs. Okay, are you ready for me to read this story? Fantastic, then let's begin. George was a giant, the scruffiest giant in town. He always wore the same old brown sandals and the same old patched up gown. I wish I wasn't the scruffiest giant in town, he said sadly. And look, his gown is like the same that was on my washing line. It had the patches on as well. But one day, George noticed a new shop. It was full of smart clothes. So he bought a smart shirt, a smart pair of trousers, a smart belt, a smart stripy tie, some smart socks with diamonds up the sides and a pair of smart shiny shoes. Now I'm the smartest giant in town, he said proudly. And look, there's his socks that are on my washing line. They also had the diamonds on as well. George left his old clothes behind in the shop. He was about to go home when he heard a sound. On the pavement stood a giraffe who was sniffing sadly. What's the matter, asked George. It's my neck, said the giraffe. It's so very long and so very cold. I wish I had a long, warm scarf. Oh, poor giraffe. Cheer up, said George, and he took off his stripy tie. It didn't match my socks anyway, he said, as he wound it around and around the giraffe's neck. It made a wonderful scarf. <gasps> Thank you, said the giraffe. As George strolled towards home, he sang to himself, my tie is a scarf for a cold giraffe, but look me up and down. I'm the smartest giant in town. Oh, wasn't that a kind thing to do to the giraffe? George came to a river. On a boat stood a goat who was bleating loudly. What's the matter, asked George. It's my sail, said the goat. It blew away in the storm. I wish I had a strong new sail for my boat. Oh, and do you remember, if the boats don't have the sail, then the wind can't blow them and push the boat along. What's the goat going to do? Cheer up, said George, and he took off his new white shirt. It was coming untucked anyway, he said, as he tied it to the mast of the goat's boat. It made a magnificent sail. <gasps> Thank you, said the goat. George strolled on singing to himself, my tie is a scarf for a cold giraffe. My shirt's on a boat as a sail for a goat, but look me up and down. I'm the smartest giant in town. Oh, how lovely. George came to a tiny, ruined house. Beside the house stood a white mouse with lots of baby mice. They were all squeaking. What's the matter? asked George. It's our house, squeaked the mother mouse. It burned down and now we have nowhere to live. I wish we had a nice new house. Oh, poor mice, they've got nowhere to live. Cheer up, said George, and he took off one of his shiny shoes. It was giving me blisters anyway, he said, as the mouse and her baby scrambled inside. The shoe made a perfect home for them. Thank you, they squeaked. George had to hop along the road now, but he didn't mind. As he hopped, he sang to himself, you can join in if you remember. My tie is a scarf for a cold giraffe. My shirt's on a boat as a sail for a goat. My shoe is a house 
for a little white mouse, but look me up and down. I'm the smartest giant in town. George came to a campsite. Beside the tent stood a fox who was crying. What's the matter? asked George. It's very sad. It's my sleeping bag, said the fox. I dropped it in a puddle. I wish I had a warm, dry sleeping bag. Whoa. Cheer up, said George, and he took off one of his socks with diamonds up the side. It was tickling my toes anyway, he said, as the fox snuggled into it. It made a fine sleeping bag. Thank you, said the fox. George hopped on, singing to himself. My tie's a scarf for a cold giraffe. My shirt's on a boat as a sail for a goat. My shoe is a house for a little white mouse. One of my socks is a bed for a fox. But look me up and down. I'm the smartest giant in town. George came to a big, squelchy bog. Beside the bog stood a dog who was howling. What's the matter? asked George. It's this bog, said the dog. I need to get across, but I keep getting stuck in the mud. I wish there was a safe, dry path. Hmm, I wonder what George is going to give the dog to cross the bog. Let's see. Cheer up, said George, and he took off his smart new belt. It was squashing my tummy anyway, he said, as he laid it over the bog. It made an excellent path. Thank you, said the dog. The wind started to blow, but George didn't mind. He hopped on, singing to himself, My tie is a scarf for a cold giraffe. My shirt's on a boat as a sail for a goat. My shoe is a house for a little white mouse. One of my socks is a bed for a fox. My belt helped a dog who was crossing a bog. But... <sighs> my trousers are falling down! I'm the coldest giant in town. How funny. Suddenly, George felt a little bit sad and shivery and not at all smart. He stood on one foot and thought, I have to go back to the shop and buy some more clothes, he decided. He turned around and hopped all the way back to the shop. George. But when he got there, it was closed. Oh no, cried George. He sank down into the doorstop and a tear ran down his nose. He felt as sad as all the animals he had met on his way home. Then, out of the corner of his eye, he saw a big bag of something familiar poking out of the top. George took a closer look. My gown, he yelled, my dear old gown and sandals. George put them on. He felt wonderfully comfortable. I'm the coziest giant in town, he cried. And he danced back home along the road. Outside his front door stood all the animals he had helped. They were carrying an enormous present. Come on, George, they said, open it. George untied the ribbon. Inside was a beautiful gold paper crown and a card. Look inside the card, George, said the animals. George put the crown on his head and he opened the card. Inside it said, your tie is a scarf for a cold giraffe. Your shirt is a boat as a sail for a goat. Your shoe is a house for a little white mouse. One of your socks is a bed for a fox. Your belt helped a dog who was crossing a bog. So here is a very fine crown to go with your sandals and gown of the kindest giant in town. 
Oh, and that's the end. How lovely. What a fantastic thing for George to do. He got all those new clothes, but then he gave them away to help all of his friends. And in return, they sent a lovely gold paper crown and a note to say thank you and called him the kindest giant in town. And I think he was the kindest giant in town. I hope you enjoyed our new story nursery. You can listen to that as many times as you like. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.